Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading and this is for Taurus Ascendant. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements in their chart. Jupiter may resonate with the reading. Cross watchers are always welcome. Cross watchers, if I describe someone and you know that it is not you, it is not you. Just because you are connecting with Taurus, you're going to assume that whom I'm describing here is you. Please don't. This is not a personal reading. For those of you who's new to the channel, welcome. You might want to consider subscribing for I am always hosting a party online wherein I am doing a live streaming. And in the live stream, you can ask me questions. If you missed the live streaming, you can still ask me questions. There is a link in the description box. Click that link. You'll be routed to my page. Type in your questions and then click submit 500 likes for this video and your next video will be a full reading so taurus if you would love to know your lucky numbers and lucky color then follow me on instagram um that's dated may the 22nd to the 31st and if you also want to know your financial forecast then follow me on instagram okay if you are into twin flame readings almost personal readings pick a card and channel messages Please subscribe to the other channel, that is Timeless Tarot 111. And if you resonate with the reading, congratulations. If you do not resonate with the reading, you can come back to the reading after a week or two. Time is fluid. If you resonate with some bits and pieces of the reading, still congratulations for I am doing a collective reading. So Taurus, I would appreciate if you can click the subscribe, like, and share at sa mga kababayan natin. Well, pakiclick na lang din po ang subscribe, like, at pakishare ang videos. So first card is the Ace of Pentacles, followed by the Four of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. So I can see here that someone gave, you know, this, or probably confided their emotions to a specific person this person is really brave um this could be you this could be the cross watchers cross watchers if you feel like this is your reading so be it and taurus if you feel like you will be in this side that's still okay i'm not reading which side you at i am reading the energy this person is really brave they confided that they have feelings for the other person even though that the other person might have um someone that they're really busy at or they're focused with some other energies or other person and that creates this person or that made this person move or turn their back in this connection um, left this person you know in the cold goes to this person so I can sense that whoever on this side I can see here that there's a kind of you're having a hard time right though those are those those are the moves that they think that it's it is the right decision but sooner or later they found out that hey wait i forgot something kind of you know you know the feeling when you left the house you forgot your keys and that is very essential right um then you can uh come back to your house and pick up the pieces or pick up the keys some sort of like this they moved but they think I think that I need this person to come back now they are already on their way so for those singles I can see here that you might you know let's say may this person feel really important you give all of your attention affection love to this person and this person kind of like rejected that offer and now they're coming back for giving you the warmth you know kind of like they're sorry right off the bat uh, for those who are in a relationship i can see that you're you're the only person who's working in your connection right your person kind of like they always feel that they are how can i say this that they are privileged you know that you are always for uh, that, that, that you are always in them for them right though I can sense here that they 
took advantage of you, disregarded you, and then you got a little cold, you know, and then they come back. Um, a question, why are you not giving, right? Why are you not giving me the, uh, why are you not giving me the attention, the love anymore, right? The audacity. Um, but let's check here with the Four of Cups. Uh, Five of Pentacles here and the Two of Swords. Five of Pentacles really showed up here on this side. So which means that there's already a separation, whether it is physical or energetic. Physical, this person might be in a different city now, state, county, country, continent, or you may be in a different, um, or in a long distance connection, right? But I can sense here with a five, with, with a two of swords, separation, or you might be in a, you're, you're not really on the same page. You may still see each other, but you're not really on the same page. Something is about to happen here with a better judgment. But they kind of like, oh yes, um, why did I do that, right? All of a sudden, probably it is because of the retrograde, the Jupiter retrograde in Pisces, right? With the Wheel of Fortune, kind of like something changed in their emotion right off the bat with the king of pentacles here and the hangman there's still some questions in them why probably these are the questions of the people who's experiencing retrograde in pisces jupiter retrograde in pisces why i always cry um why do i feel so bad why kind of like their conscience is bugging them and if if you are in this side you feel that i i can see that the universe are aligning on your on your favor so cross watchers if you feel like this is your reading so be it taurus if you feel like you will be in this side that's okay i am not reading which side you at i am reading the energy the world card the five of um the five of ones and the eight of coins so i can see here is that you might be in a competition or are they placed you in a competition there's really a separation here i can sense that they're working so hard you know to get the other person so you are probably really in a third party situation though i can see here they're going to ask why why it felt like i feel some emptiness even though that i am chasing the person that I want. So those questions, they, you may not see it, but I can see here that there will be a return, a comeback, right, to your side. With the five of wands here, um, seven of cups, so doors will be opened. And the seven of swords, you know, this betrayal, kind of like they're go the doors will be open in them too for enlightenment. With the Moon card, Knight of Cups, and a Page of Pentacles, see, um, this abundance, you're not going to experience this, like, in bulk or overnight. You're going to experience this one day at a time, and it may be a little slow, right? So you might be connecting here with, um, give me a couple sets. Taurus or has a Taurus placement in their chart or you have a Taurus placement or of course this is your reading um, Libra or has a Libra placement in their chart or you have a Libra placement in your chart Scorpio or has a Scorpio placement in their chart or you have a Scorpio placement in your chart Leo or has a Leo placement in their chart or you have a Leo placement in your chart Sagittarius or has a Sagittarius placement in their chart or you have a Sagittarius placement in your chart, Pisces or has a Pisces placement in their chart, or you have a Pisces placement in your chart, but this is your reading. If you resonate with this and you want to go in-depth, you can book a personal reading with me. If you are okay with the reading and you just have a question or two, there is a link in the description box. Click that link. You'll be routed to my page. Tap in your questions. Click submit. <clears throat> 500 likes for this video and your next video will be a full reading. Thank you so much for watching. Love and light to you. Namaste. See you on the next reading. Goodbye, Taurus.